All right, today I'll be going over uh, this blog post by Roberto Rodriguez on unconstrained delegation and the uh, printer bug. So there's a lot of information on this blog post and it's uh, really good stuff, but uh, the highlight. Okay, so uh, the material cover in this blog post was uh, this uh, DerbyCon presentation in 2018 by the folks at uh, SpectreOps. And uh, basically uh, how it works is that, uh, say I have a compromised workstation, which is this uh, top node. And I also have a compromised um, server. And this compromised server has an unconstrained uh, delegation uh, trust privilege with the domain controller here. So what I can do with a printer bug is that I can uh, send a message uh, through that uh, printer protocol. Uh, I think it's called uh, remote print system protocol. So I, I could send I could send a packet uh, to the main controller and tell it to uh, connect to uh, this this other server that I have compromised. And then what the, D, the domain controller would do uh, is that it'll send over its uh, ticketing material to this uh, other server. And then if I have a process listening for that traffic, I could then capture that uh, ticket and then reuse uh, that, that ticket to then uh, authenticate to the domain controller. Uh, and, uh, you know, so this is about unconstrained delegation. And according to this blog post right here, how you enabled uh, unconstrained delegation is through this uh, property dialog right here. You would then check this and then that's how you can configure that middle uh, server. So in my case, this middle server will be a web server and it has that unconstrained delegation trust with the uh, domain controller. So let's, uh, oh, then one last thing, uh, the implementation of the, to trigger that printer bug is from this uh, GitHub by Lee Christensen. It's the spool sample. So let's get into the demo. So this bottom PowerShell, that's my uh, workstation um, a machine. And then uh, in the back here, I also have a command prompt on the web server that has that unconstrained delegation enabled. So uh, from this machine, I'm going to run uh, Rubius. So Rubius, uh, okay, type complete is not working there. And I'm gonna uh, run it in monitor mode. And every five seconds, I'm going uh, to check. And uh, the ticket uh, that I'm looking for is from the domain controller account. So this account from the domain controller, and I'm going to put the no wrap option so I can easily cut cut and paste the ticket once it once it comes by. So I'm going to uh, run that command to listen. So there's Rubius, and it's going to listen every five seconds for new uh, TGT uh, traffic. Okay. So here on my workstation, I'm going to uh, kick off the spool sample. The, so this is the, the POC for to activate that printer bug. And the option here is uh, the domain controller machine. So there's the domain controller. And um, my uh, server, right? So my server is that web server. Or uh, local. Okay, so this will send that. Uh, if you remember from the web here, it will send this first first uh, tr uh, trigger packet right here. So with that, let me see if I type that right. That looks good. So I run it, and in the background you saw some traffic, but here. Uh, this is expected. Okay, so it looks like that runs successfully. And we look in the background here, right? So Rubius was listening. So I can kill that now. And uh, if you go back to the web, so, and I think it's better. So this one has a better image of it. So basically, yeah, 
uh, I, I send that first first uh, packet to tell it to uh, uh, authenticate back to my web server, and then that's what it did. So that's what this is, this base64 ticket right here. So what I can do there is copy this off, and then uh, back at my workstation, uh, let's I can use that to um, run desync to get uh, the hash for the uh, KRB TGT account, and then I could use that to do golden ticket. But this first part is the part that I wanted to show, but for completeness sake, I'll show how to go all the way to order in order to access the domain controller itself, right? So uh, from here, let's invoke Mimikatz. Okay, let's make sure the script is there. Okay, there it is. So then I go that, invoke mini um, cats one. Okay, I have that there. So do, 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 do. okay, okay. So I just want to show you. So invoke mini cats right here. Okay, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff in there. So invoke mini cats. The command I want to run is uh, desync. But with my uh, current account, I do not have replication privileges, right? So I, I guess sort of want to show you how this will fail because I don't have uh, those replication permissions, right? So I try to run Mimikatz and try to run a DC, DC sync and then I get this error, right? So what I have to do is I have to use uh, Rubius and then let's see, and then I'm gonna use passion ticket to insert into my curtain session, right? So, and so this is the ticket that I captured, right? So that's the base 64 ticket so that I, I captured from doing the, the sniffing here. So I run that and then, so now that's in, so it says it's important successfully. So now uh, that user account ticket is now in my session. So if I try again, this uh, DC sync command, Give it a little bit of time, jackpot, right? So it successfully ran. And what I'm looking for is this AES-256. And so with that, I can then uh, use a golden uh, ticket to uh, talk to the DC. So, but before I run the golden ticket command, just to show you that I currently cannot talk to the DC, right? So I try to LS and access is denied. So then uh, for just to speed this demo along, I have the golden ticket command already uh, ready to go, queued up. So this is the golden ticket command, I execute it and it will generate a golden ticket and will insert it into my session, right? So it is successfully submitted for my session. And then now if I try to uh, do an LS command uh, against the uh, DC, I did it, I can successfully do that. So now I have access to the domain controller. And uh, with that, that concludes my demo.